What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Does that break it? Hello everyone, welcome to Veteran Gaming, I am Aaron. Tonight in Lord of the Rings, Heroes of Middle-Earth, we are going to be talking about Raid Chapter 1. I don't really think there's any doubt uh, that the Raid is the most engaging and lucrative content inside the game right now because you're getting gold, you're getting experience, you're getting credits, you're getting Gandalf shards eventually. So the Raids are massively important for your progression in this game. So I want to go ahead and talk about some of the teams that my guild is using to score 900,000 points in chapter one of the raid because 900,000 is really a threshold you should be shooting for because if you can get one team to 900,000, that's gonna count for three other teams you can get to 300,000. So you wanna make sure you get at least one team all the way up there in the raid. And you know, now that I keep saying raid, it automatically makes me think of Raid Shadow Legends. The sponsor for today's video is Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is an amazing free-to-play hero-collecting RPG with over 800 different champions across 15 playable factions. Yeah, 800 champions including orcs, elves, dwarves, knights, and you can take them into multiple game modes including arena PvP and different dungeon challenges. You can download this amazing game completely free-to-play on Android, iOS and they even have a PC client. The best part is if you download this game for free using the link in the comments section down below or by scanning the QR code, you can get amazing free heroes such as the legendary Sun Wukong, the epic champion Light Sworn, and the epic champion Juliana. Make sure you use the promo code Monkey King within 72 hours of registering to get this amazing legendary hero. Sun Wukong is an amazing legendary hero given away for free so you don't want to miss out. He can steal enemy buffs before for attacking. He can block buffs. He can ignore target defense. Oh, and by the way, if you kill him, he has a powerful passive which will fully revive him. He is a super strong legendary. Raid Shadow Legends has been one of the leaders in the hero collecting genre for years, and it's for a reason. The graphics are amazing, the gameplay features diverse modes for PvP and PvE enthusiasts, and the guild versus guild challenges are fun and rewarding. Not to mention, is there any moment more exciting as a gamer than opening a summoning shard and seeing those legendary colors come out and that hero you've been dreaming about to add to your roster walking through the portal. So make sure you click the link down below, scan the QR code, grab your Sun Wukong, your Light Sworn, your Juliana, and get your Raid Shadow Legends adventure started today. So if you guys have never checked out Raid before, it's been going strong for four years now. Check it out if you're looking for a new game. So as we open up the raid here, let's go ahead and bounce over to uh, chapter one leaderboard and we will talk about some of the teams. And the team that my guild currently has the most hitting 900,000 are the Hobbits. Yeah, I bet you didn't think you were going to get Frodo's O-Face in this video, but there you go. You're welcome for that. So out of what? How many teams here we got hit 900,000? Out of 15... We have five Hobbit Road to Rivendell teams that are hitting 900,000. So while they aren't the best team in the game to start off with necessarily because they're pretty weak in arena, and by pretty weak, I mean frustratingly weak. You don't mean that. Yeah, I know, Sam. I'm, I'm not blaming you. You're, you're kind of a boss, but the rest of the crew is, is pretty weak in arena. But in Chapter 1... Uh, chapter 3 to some extent. They they do okay in all the raids, but they really smash it in Chapter 1 here. Once you get them up to level 60 and gear 8 and gear 7 level with some abilities, you're going to hit that 900k mark. And as you can see here, several in my guild have done that. In second place here, the two teams that are four apiece are the Elves. And Rohan and Friends... I say Rohan and friends because typically they're going to invite a friend like Halbrod or Ironhide in the crew there to get up to that 900,000 mark. And the elves are also a bit of a smorgasbord because there's, what, six or seven of them in the game right now that are uh, really helpful. Most of the time you got Elrond and his, uh, his kiddos, but then you're going to throw in a Legolas, Lomion here and there. So elves have a really strong roster across the board, and obviously they have... Lord Elrond, one of the first legendaries inside the game, so they are going to definitely pull their weight, and they do very well in multiple chapters here. So even though Road to Rivendell have five teams, uh, I think if you got to choose between one of them, definitely aim for the elves, get your Lord Elrond up there. It's going to be 
a better arena team and help you out in more chapters of the raid. We also have a couple of Isengards that have entered the chart here. Both Dark Knight and Cage MCL have Isengard teams at gear 8 and 7. And they have 900,000 apiece. Uh, now, as frustrating as this is, you see my Isengard team all the way down here at 23. And that's because they're just not level 60 yet. They're level like mid-50s. I think Ugluck is 60, but that's it. So I need to invest, continue to invest in their abilities and their levels. And then I will have a second 900,000 team, hopefully, also. And that pretty much wraps out our 900,000 teams currently. I'm interested to see who comes out in the future that is going to help. Uh, you can see a Mordor team here at 544,000. So that's a pretty solid run. Uh, the other interesting team uh, way down here, but was still pulling 300,000. OM Bloomy here. Legolas and Aramiri, the elf shield lady that I can't ever remember her name. Lord Balin and the second troll. So that's a real smorgasbord of a team there. But they're pulling 300,000 with gear 5, 6, and 7. So you can really piece together some teams, especially in the early game when there aren't that many heroes released yet. Don't be afraid just because they don't necessarily have synergy or the leadership ability doesn't affect everybody. If you have a character that's strong and getting up there, then you're going to go ahead and get some good points with them. So don't be a, don't be hesitant to kind of mix and match. And with that said, if anybody has a team that hasn't been listed here or like a true mix and match that really smashes that 900,000 mark, please put it in the comments section down below. The whole reason I'm making this video is that everybody in the community that sees this can get a better raid score and know which teams you kind of want to aim for that are going to help you get more rewards and help out your guild also so everybody gets better rewards so if you have any teams make sure you leave them in the comments section down below thanks for stopping in tonight if you enjoy the video please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming content and as always have fun good luck so i got that going for me, which is nice